Where do you currently keep your passwords? Do you keep them in a Excel spreadsheet, in a notebook, in your brain? Do you have your childhood pet's name as your password and then 10 exclamation point or question mark. Yep, I have been guilty of all of those. But for the past few years, I think four or five years now, I've been using 1Password and I absolutely love 1Password. I love how convenient they are. I love that you can use them on multiple platforms. I can use it on my MacBook. I can use it on my Windows computer. I can use it on my phone. I can use it on all different places and it communicates with each other. It communicates with my husband's passwords and it's amazing. So I'm gonna share with you the pros, the cons, the tutorial, review, all of the things about 1Password. It's gonna be my honest review, honest thoughts, and thank you 1Password for sponsoring this video. But like I said, it is gonna be my honest thoughts on 1Password. First, why should you use a password manager? A password manager is so important at keeping your password safe and honestly, with the way that these scammers work nowadays and the way that they can take passwords from one site and then use them in other sites, gone are the days when we can use all the same password for multiple applications, multiple sites, and that is so dangerous to use and it is not something that we want to do. So rather than keeping them in an Excel spreadsheet or something like that, I really recommend keeping them in a password manager. And 1Password is not just a password manager. It will also help you create passwords. You can also store credit cards in there so that way you don't have to go up and get your purse every single time. You can just do it right there. It also has those little one-time codes, those like 30 second code so that way you don't have to use a third party app to get those codes. You can do it all in one place. There have been times where I had that password code for an account login, but it went to my husband's account and not mine. So every single time I needed it, I had to text and be like, hey, can I have the, the code, the six digit code? And he'd be like, 20 minutes later, okay, are you ready? I'm like, well, nope, now I'm doing the dishes and I forgot. So this is something that you can create right in 1Password, which is so convenient that you can have it all in one place. It also has browser extensions, an app for your computer, an app for your phone. It's amazing. First thing that 1Password does is it protects you, like I said, and it protects you against having these data breaches that come in if we're not using strong passwords or if we're using the same password in multiple different places. 1Password has a feature where it will create a password for you and you can select how long you want the password to be and if you want crazy characters and it is something that literally just looks like my daughter just went do 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 and just started typing on the computer and it just mumble jumps jumbledness. So that way no one would be able to figure out what your password is. So that is something that is really, really helpful that it creates those passwords for you. Now I know you may be thinking, but my browser has a built-in password manager. Those are not good. Those do not really protect you. And what happens if you change browsers or what happens if you want to do a login on your phone and or login on someone else's computer like your spouse's computer or your child's computer. But having that, it's not gonna be able to communicate properly. If you have one password, you can use it on multiple platforms, multiple devices, so that way you always know that your passwords are secure. You can also have a notes field in the passwords that if you need to put notes in there or an additional login or an additional like username or number. We just did global entry. So I put in the, the name of the person I spoke to at global entry because we were applying it and it was a rush to get out of the country to, or to get the global entry for the, for going on vacation. And so I put the person's name in. So that way, if I had to call back, I can see that note in there right there. You can also keep medical records. And like I said, you can do credit cards as well, which is so convenient of having them all right there and super secure. One password has a new feature called pass keys and pass keys are really cool and they're actually more secure than passwords. And the way they work is they don't need to be written down or memorized. Instead, they're stored on your smartphone or other trusted device like your computer, your MacBook, anything like that. And it's protected by biometrics or your device pin. So unlike passwords, there's no such thing as a weak pass key. They can't be stolen in a data breach without physical access to your smartphone or, or the other their trusted device in unlocking it, no one can log into your passkey protected account. How they work is every passkey consists of two interlocking parts, a public passkey that is shared with the website or app you're making your account for and a private key that never leaves your device. Both are needed to authenticate and it's impossible to reverse engineer one key from another. This means that without physical access to your device and a way of unlocking it, no one can log into a passkey protected account. Another really good feature of 1Password is the ability 
ability to share passwords in between people. So for instance, my husband and I, we both have a family account with one password. And if I need a login to something, I don't have to text him and be like, hey, can you send me the password for this? And then that password is in our text messages. Instead, he just uploads it to the vault and I have immediate access to it. So I love that you can share passwords between family members on your plan without having to compromise anything or send them via text messages or anything like that. It's right there, it's convenient. I don't have to wait for his response. I can just access it right in the vault. One password is really easy to set up and some of my favorite features about one password is they will auto generate password for you if you want. You can have it create a new password or if you don't like the one and you're like, mm, let's, let's generate a new one or let's make it a little bit harder, a little bit stronger. You can also get alerted when passwords are compromised and it'll tell you if you have a weak password or if you have a password, the same password that is in more than one login and more than one website uses the same password, it's gonna alert you of that. Let's talk about pricing. And yes, it does cost money, but honestly, if it, something happened to one of my accounts or someone logged into my bank and got all of my bank information or something like that, then it would cost me a lot more money. So I am so happy to pay this small amount. And if you use Rakuten, you can get 27.5% cash back right now. So I'll have a link for Rakuten down below as well. But Rakuten works with 1Password, which is amazing. You guys know I love Rakuten and that is a great way to get some money back, 27%, that's amazing. So they have different plans. So we have an individual plan at $2.99 a month family plan at $4.99 a month. That's the one that I have with my husband. Team starter pack, so protect up to 10 team members if you have a small business. You can do that for $19.95 a month or a business at $7.99 a month, which is awesome. And you can try all of these free for 14 days, which I definitely recommend it. trying them out. I'll have a link down below in the description. Try it out and see if it's something that you guys like and you have 14 days to to figure it out. And they are trusted by over 100,000 businesses and families like myself. So IBM, Slack, Paper Duty, Intercom, GitLab, Under Armour all uses 1Password, which is so cool. 1Password also has travel mode, so that way you can select which passwords you have access to and you can have them in a select little section for you. And that way when you return to your country or your home, then you can give back full access but that way you can have just a small access to the ones that you're actually gonna need on the trip. I'm gonna show you how to create a login. So we're gonna use Wendy's. For example, let's say we want some fast food. So, and I wanna get the reward. So I'm gonna to go to login and I'm going to sign up. Now we get to the password section. So I don't want to use this strong password. This is something that Google Password Manager does. Mm -mm. I don't want that. So I'm gonna go with one password and I am going to log in. Then I'm going to go to this little add button. I'm gonna go add login, and I'm going to do Wendy's. Then I can do the username. So I'm gonna put the email address here. Then password, new field, and then you see this little gear icon. I'm gonna click that, and that's gonna select the password for me. And so I can create the length of the password here. I can do the number of digits or the number number of symbols as well. And you can have characters or words. I always just do characters because I feel like that's more secure. So I'm gonna do 17 words and I want, let's say six symbols. Okay, that looks great. So I'm gonna copy this. I can also add a website. I can add a new field. I can add a notes section. I can do tags. I can do so many different things. So I'm going to, like I said, copy this. Then I'm going to add it here confirm password, email new products, no, and continue. Okay, so this is actually a really good example because this is telling me that it needs 16, uh, six to 20 characters, uppercase, lowercase, and um, a number. So it doesn't look like it wants any symbols. So what I can do for this is I can take down the symbols and do no symbols, and we have uppercase, we have lowercase, we have digits. Let's do a couple more digits just to make this a little more complicated. Then I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to add it here and continue. And there we go. So now we can save it to my computer. I don't like doing this. I like having it in one password so then I can save it and there we go. So next time we need it, I can just 
copy it here, copy the password and enter it. So super easy to use, super easy to add and create a password. Then if I wanted to download the app on my phone, I can have it right there on my phone as well. If you want to sign up for one password, I will have a link for them down below in the description box, as well as the pinned comment. I love one password. They are amazing. So I definitely recommend them. And let's keep the conversation going. If you want to know side hustles that you can do from home, from the comfort of your computer, all you need is a internet connection and you can do these side hustles check out this video here and if you want to know some unique ways to save money on groceries inflation is kicking our butts right now check out this video on saving money on groceries